Hi guys, welcome back to Reading the Word and Understanding the Bible Verse. Today in Luke, I read chapter 12 and chapter 13. And what I find interesting or what stood out to me the most is Luke chapter, in Luke chapter 12, starting in verse 51. It says, Do you think I came to bring peace on earth? No, I tell you, but division. From one there will be five in one family divided against each other. Three against two, two against three. So, what I find interesting about this is Jesus says, I did not be, I did not come to bring peace on earth. That is very interesting that Jesus says, I came not to bring peace on earth, but division. And the division is, is the people who accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, into the heart, and walk with God. Those are the people who are divided. The peace on earth is what other, it's what other people believe. People who are like Catholics, people who um, are Jehovah Witnesses, those kind of people who claim to be Christians, but aren't walking the Christian way. They still walk the earthly matter, because they're truthfully not born again. They truthfully have not accepted Jesus Christ in their heart and turned their ways, turned their old ways, their old values behind them and become new believers in the faith of, of Jesus Christ. That's what he's talking about. He's talking about the division on the earth. The division is going to be the people who are truthfully born again believers who are on the fire of the Lord. Those people... Or the people who are going out and preaching and doing doing miracles, doing wonders. Because why? Because they have Jesus Christ living inside them. That's what makes us different. The people who are peace on earth, those are the people who think that's what Jesus came there for. That's not what Jesus came there for. He came to divide the earth because we are supposed to be different as born in believers. Different than people who walk the earth. Different than people say, well, Jesus came here for peace. No, he didn't. He came here for division. Why? Because he came here to understand, to see where your heart is. Is your heart truthfully walking in the way of Jesus, reading your Bible, wanting to understand him, wanting to grow in his word? Or are you just like everybody else somewhere on the planet that's just like, oh, Jesus isn't real. Or, it's okay, I can go to church one a day, and then the, the other six days, never think about Jesus. Or, I could pray to false, other false gods, but as long as I go to church on Sunday, I'll be okay. No, this is where division comes in. That's why God says he brought division in the families. And where, if one person became born again Christian in that family, they're kicked out. They're kicked out of the rest of the family. I know people who became born again Christians and their family has completely kicked them out because they said you believe in something that we don't believe in. And that's where the vision comes in. And those people who are separated from their parents and from their family, those people have something greater in store and that's they're walking with Christ. Their other family doesn't know that, but that one person does. And that's the amazing powerful of Jesus Christ. Because he's a living, powerful God. And he's still on this planet today. So that's what he's talking about here. About dividing families. And when you come from a born and Christian family. You grow up to be. Hopefully to, to have a stronger faith. And to realize. And to see the wonders that God's done into your life. As you grow up. And you continue walking in that faith and not fall into the evil path. But there's a lot of Christians who do. So I pray that, um, pray that God conquers the earth and divides you into your evil ways and turns your evil ways into, into trusting in Jesus. Because we all need him. We all sin. We're all, we all aren't perfect. It's only Christ who's perfect and gives us a perfect example. So I pray this helps you guys today. Pray that you understand that 
what the division means and not just peace on earth. So I pray that you guys have a good day, blessed day, love you guys, and God bless. Hi guys, welcome back to reading the word and understanding the Bible verse. Today in Luke, I read chapter 12 and chapter 13. And what I find interesting, or what stood out to me the most, is in chapter 13, verse 10 through 17. So this is Jesus talking into the synagogues. And a woman who is um, by an evil spirit for 18 years, she has not been able to straighten up her back at all. So, Jesus tells her, Women, you are set free from your infirmity. So, then he put his hand on her, and immediately she straightened up and praised God. Now, imagine that, that you see this woman, you probably know, for 18 years, she can't straighten out her back. And then all of a sudden, here comes Jesus, puts his hand on her, and she's able to straighten up. That's a miracle and a blessing that these people saw. Right? And then you have the rulers over there who says, Why are you, there's six days of work. Why are you healing on the Sabbath? So you could just hear these people, these synagogue rulers saying like, Why are you healing on this day? There's six days of work and one day of rest. And then this is what Jesus says. You hypocrites. Don't each each one of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or donkey from the stalls and lead them out to give him water? Then should not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, who Satan has kept bound for 18 years long, be set free on the Sabbath, the day that was bound on her. So this is what I find interesting. He's telling the people. He's telling. He's telling the people that, hey, when your animal is tied up, you still unloose it and still give it water and food to drink. Why not? Why not this person who's been suffering from Satan for eighteen years? Be healed. And then this is what I would love about this. So much is verse 17. Which really makes it stand out. It says. When he said this. All his opposites. Were humiliated. But the people who delighted. With all the wonderful things. He was doing. So everybody who was against him. Right. Were humiliated. And. Didn't feel good for saying that. But then the people around them w- delighted what Jesus was doing. Because they were so happy praising God and saying thank you Jesus for doing this for this woman. And that's what's so awesome. That's what happens when you see miracles happen in your eyes. Is you just get filled up with the more Holy Spirit and the more presence of God. Just like Jesus walking on this earth. We don't get to see we still get to see all these beautiful miracles that Jesus does. Jesus may not be on this earth as he was, but the Holy Spirit allows us to still do these amazing miracles and still people being able to heal just like this just like this woman. And it's really cool to be able to see this. So I pray that you guys have an opportunity to have that same face. Just like Jesus does. To be able to heal people. Or to be able to place their hand on them. And for them to be able to be straightened up. That's how our faith is supposed to be. Our faith is supposed to be strong. Just like Jesus. Because Jesus is a perfect example that we're supposed to lead to. So I pray that this helps you guys today. Grow your faith. Read the Bible. And understand what he's reading. Ask God to help you in that way. So I pray that you guys have a good day, blessed day, love you guys, and God bless.